the, the final now and hopefully if we can show it was a good fight. No question about it and they'll be trying to show their best here. Omar Al Nishan against Yasar Sami Gokbaba and it is Gokbaba the Turk. He's the man in red. Electronic protector test is done in the customary show of respect before they batter each other up and down the ring. Omar Ali in blue, Gokbaba in red. Gokbaba on the back foot, loves to shift back. Good back leg turn and kick, old school. Yeah, that was a really strong back leg. Um, it seems like he's um, trying to find out his distance and wait for that time and to shoot off that back leg. Yep, shoot it off to good effect, but a little front leg counter after that as well. Ties it up, two points apiece as we reach into the last minute here. A minute and a half per round, which trust me is more than enough when someone's trying to kick you. Of course, no head kicks in para taekwondo and no waiting either. Gam John Gibbon. On rally, tries to reach him with that back leg turning kick. Got Baba on the defensive. Yeah, it was a strong, um, strong back leg there. You can see that they're just trying to um, get each, tactically get each other out, like they're waiting for that shot to wait. I think they're trying to fake each other out, um, waiting for the counter. And of course, as they wait for the counter, sometimes changing stats. Nice little hook around the corner from Got Baba. On rally as well. Rally's back into this one. Back leg, well it almost snuck up to the head, I think it did, looked quite a clean yeah. head shot. Yeah, I think that just clipped in, um, obviously that's not allowed in the rules, but um, um, that's a gun done given there. Yeah, unintentional, perhaps, well we, we would certainly imagine it would be, as you say, seemed to flick up the stairs, catch the jaw, and it caught Gokbaba unawares. Five points apiece, Gam John given, is he okay to continue? Yeah, he seems like he's um, going to get off. I think he's like he's going to continue. Maybe it was just an accident and a respect to um, carry on, like because he can just make mistakes and Taekwondo can just slip up. So, um. yep, he made that mistake and he paid for it. Lost the gam, John did on rally. But Gokbaba took one to the jaw. Good footwork from both men here into the open stance. Back leg turn and kick, whistling past there. Yeah, very fast back leg then. You can see that's what he's trying to get on. That's his strength. His left leg counter back leg is really strong. Like, he's just sort of another point there. He's just picking up them points with them shots. And, of course, as you know well, Bianca, as we reach the end of that first round, the timing and distance, the ability to, to move back, to bring your opponent in, so important. Yeah, definitely. That's the hardest thing in Taekwondo. To, to get that timing and distance perfect is, is a really hard skill. And if you can nail it, even if you've got one kick, if, you, if you're really good at that timing and distance, it's the hardest thing to get out of the way. It is having to get out of the way of the left leg of Omrali at the moment. The Kazakh fighter, he's in command. He's taking a tumble to the Turks tactics and he is doing well here. Omrali Nishan. In fine form, four point gap here as we go into the second round. The men's heavyweight final, so to speak, the 75 kilograms and above. Yajar Gokbaba of Turkey. Into the closed stance this time, trying to shift back and forward. Nice little exchange there, like he's still trying to find that back leg and I think um, Turkey's just trying to sneak in with his front leg because that's his main strength, you can see he feels comfortable off his um, left leg forward. And of course as we've seen with that left leg forward, he knows Omrelli has the back kick so it's, we talked about before, trying to get that space. Yeah, definitely. It's about timing and um, taking that risk to get that shot. Like, he got, if he, if he, because he knows he has got a backer, he's got to take the risk for that front leg and roll out the way and avoid the backer. Yep, no risk, no reward. And at the moment, all the rewards so far going to Kazakhstan. There's the back kick that we mentioned, just sliding around the corner. Good work from Gokbaba. Makes him throw it. Lovely back leg turning kick again from the Kazakh in blue. And as we reach into the last minute, he affixes the foot guard looking comfortable, dominating, and a lovely little counter. Yeah, definitely, they're, they're definitely going for it now. They're trying to get the, the fight going a bit more and point to racking up for um, the Kazakhstan. Um, but I'll nearly an exchange there. And that exchange not bearing any fruit for Gokbaba. Tried with a little double technique, good variation, but the only double that counts is that back kick there. What a shot that was. Lovely, what a shot. That was perfect timing. 
Um, I think it's winded them actually. I think um, it's hurt them quite a bit. And if you get hit with a good back kick, it's the worst pain in the world. So. No question. You're, you're right because we're both sitting laughing here as if we know that feeling. We've given it out, we've taken it, and when you feel that back kick, it's, it's the reason that people do that footwork, that jumping back kick perfect technique yeah but he's still going for it the, the Turkish boy's still going in there and you think I think he's not going to give up this fight he's got one more round you never know he could come back yep no question it's not over till it's over but at the moment Omaral Nishan really good value for it and crisp technique really really impressed with that yeah, I'm really impressed. He's got a, a, um, a really good, strong back leg and um, a counter back kick when, he, um, when uh, the Turkish guy attacks. And hopefully he can just go in there and feel, show us a bit more of that technique because it is a, um, a, a, a good technique. It scores four points in this competition and it is a strong technique if you can get the points on the board. No question about it. Strong technique and double points for Amrali. And he's got a 12-point gap here. But got Gaba, as you rightly say, still in this contest as we reach into the third and final round. Well, roaring into the lead here on Rally. There's the back kick that we mentioned again. And even though it doesn't score, it gives your opponent plenty to think about. Yeah, definitely. It does set your opponent off. Like, if you can stand there strong and score that back, even if you don't get the point, it does threaten the um, opponent coming and they do double think about coming back to you. As you say that, they worry about coming back and worry about the score at the moment. Credit to Gokbaba as we creep into the dying stages of this one. 45 seconds and some change left in this heavyweight final for the World Para title. Both men going for it, but that back kick... I'll never get tired of seeing that. I'm sure Gokbaba is more than tired of it as we reach into the last 30. Yeah, even though there's a 10 point gap, like Turkey is definitely going for it. Uh, he, he looks, he, he's still trying to find that shot. He's not giving up. He's only got 25 seconds, and you never know what could happen. No question about it, but trying to close the door on the ambitions of Gokbaba is Omrali Inshan from Kazakhstan. He is the man at the moment, and he's got time on his side, and he's got the gap. And it looks for all the will in the world that finally Gokbaba, well, he's eaten one too many back kicks and it's going to be silver for Turkey. But to the delight of the man from Kazakhstan, world heavyweight champion, which is a title that you know well, Bianca. Yeah, it's a beautiful title to have and um, fair play for the Kazakhstan then. He went out there strong, he nailed that back leg counter and he nailed that back kick and it paid off for him and he is the heavyweight champion of the world. Well, it's a wonderful feeling. And of course, as you rightly said, you have to now prepare your own heavyweight ambitions. And as we reach the end of the conclusion of that one there, Omrali and Shan with the gold for Kazakhstan, silver medal, richly deserved. Yaja Gokbaba from Turkey and his moment with the flag. And as we've said before, what a feeling that is to be on top of the world, richly deserved. And of course now, Bianca, we're going to let you go. Just one final question. 